Welcome to part two of this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to the street artist Dane. And the next thing we're going to do is create a new layer. And we're going to use the um, brush tool again. Um, and use it to add some colour just around our portrait. Uh, bring down the brush size just a little bit so it's not quite as big and this is going to allow us to kind of add some color to the background that brings the background and the subject matter a little bit more together in terms of the the colors being used okay so a little bit of pink a couple of areas and then same as I have done before, I'm going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and just blur these out so that they're not too recognisable as just blobs of colour. That will do. And then same again, above the layer, scroll through until I get um, to... The blend that I want. There we go, I think that works nicely. So it still shows the torn bill posters but now has that splash of colour bringing the two together. This is where I was going to end the tutorial but the more I looked at the image the more I felt that it needed something more, maybe a few more layers. So I started looking back at Dane's work and I got an idea. So I went onto Google and I found some paint splashes purposefully looking for PNG files and the same with drips. So I would have searched for paint splashes PNG and paint drips PNG. And I'm going to go to image adjustments invert and that's going to turn these black splashes into white splashes. And then I'm going to select them, control C Control V onto my image and then I'm going to move them down to the bottom right hand corner and then right click duplicate that layer and put some over just next to them but I'm going to just turn those so they don't look like the same drips and that's good Next up, I'm going to take both those layers, merge them together. So select them both, right click, merge layer, and just shimmy them over a little bit. And then I'm going to go to the opacity and just change the opacity down to something like 75%. So they feel like they blend into the image a bit. And then I'm going to do the same with the drips. Image adjustment invert. And that makes them white drips instead of black ones. And control C and control V. And I'm going to have these drips coming from the top of the page. So again, just resizing them. And I'm going to have them right the way across. So duplicate the layer and then drag the new layer over and I don't want them to look exactly the same as the other drips so I'm going to go to edit transform and warp and I'm just going to use the handles just to stretch those down a little bit so they look different from the other drips and then click off of those, merge the two layers together and resize it so it stretches across. And same as I did with the paint splatters, I'm just going to lower the opacity again so it blends into the image a little bit more naturally. So it seems like it's all one image. And then one last little tweak, I'm going to go back to the splatters, duplicate that layer, 
and just bring some spatters up to the top left hand corner and I think that is done and dusted and so that ends this tutorial on how to create a piece of work in the style of the street artist Dane. I hope you find it useful.